everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, here it's Jay. Welcome to my channel. And for today's video, I'm doing my top 10 Harry Potter items. Now, I have done this video before, but I think I did it like two years ago now. Two, three years ago, maybe, I don't know. Um, and I just thought I'd do it again, because if you're like me and you love everything Harry Potter and you just keep adding things and adding things to your living room, your bedroom, your collection, whatever, your preferences start to change a bit. Like, what's your favourite items that you own, like, I know that everyone has slides like every item that I own is my favourite item but there are some that just you're like if I lost this I don't know what I'd do or if this broke I'd cry my eyes out. Um, so I'm going to give you my top 10 items that I own and who knows you could look back at my old video and they might be different. Some may be the same. We won't know. Let's find out. Um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy. If you do please give this video a thumbs up and let's just get started. I mean at number 10 is this and it is a time turner keyring that I got when I went to the Universal Studios in Florida but that was in 2010. I know I'm old but this was like basically my first ever piece of merchandise that I bought basically Harry Potter-ish. I got this along with a wand, um, well two wands actually and I, th but I think I, coming out of one of the rides this was the very first thing I saw and I couldn't afford like a proper time turner necklace so I thought this would be the best thing but I never actually put it on my keys because I think I was afraid of losing it but like this is in the top 10 because obviously it just reminds me of the first time I went to Florida and I desperately need to go back and all the happy memories of all the rides and going to Ollivanders and oh I just really want to go back so yeah that comes in at number 10. Number 9 is going to be something that most of you might not class as a Harry Potter item but uh, I do um, if it has anything to do with Harry Potter I'm like I'm classing that and it is this um, tankard from the um, studio tour with the butterbeer logo on it and it's the ice cream tankard. I know what you're thinking, why is a butterbeer ice cream tankard one of your favourite items? Um, <laughs> well to be fair the ice cream is amazing, if you haven't tried it yet you need to, it's the best. But the reason it's number nine is because Emily, my best friend who you guys know, um, actually bought me this. Um, we When we went to the tour I bought lunch and she thought I'll buy ice cream and I was like yeah fine. But then she came back and I thought she was just going to get us cones because you guys know that in order to keep these you have to pay a little bit extra for them. I don't know how much they are now but when I last went it was like three pounds something. Um, so she came back with a cone for herself and plumped it down in front of me and I was like what are you doing? I know how much you have to pay to keep this. What are you doing? She was like I just wanted to, I wanted to buy you one. I wanted to buy you a little tankard so this will always have like a nice little place in my heart and it's been three years since we actually booked to go to the tour and I haven't been back since and I really need to as well. This item comes in at number nine. Coming in at number eight is actually a jewellery piece. Um, I got this when I went to see my sister in Edinburgh in November last year which sounds weird to say. I know it was only two months ago but still weird. So she basically organised a whole Harry Potter themed day. We went around all the shops and we went to a potions making class. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you'll see my photos but in one of the shops I saw this and the, the day I was going home I went back she's like we can go back to the shops if you've seen anything that you want to get because I know you get overwhelmed very easily and you want to buy everything but um, we went back and I bought this and it is a Ravenclaw diadem necklace and it's just so beautiful I don't know if it's actual like proper s silver but it is a silver necklace and it has the two blue gems there to represent the jewels in the, in the diadem and I just have to have it because I've never seen any kind of jewelry piece like this. I know you get them off wish but they're like long big and chunky and they're more good for like if you want to cosplay as like a Ravenclaw student which I have done um, but this is nice and simple just for like everyday wear. You can wear this with like nice dresses, tops and just represent Harry Potter in, in a small way. I like that and plus I am a Ravenclaw so um, this made me very very happy. I do really really one day want to own the actual diadem um, but I'm still not in the position to buy that financially but I do really really want the diadem but no this comes in at number eight. So coming in at number seven like a paper replica. I do love my paper replicas. I have like a whole shelf um, behind me here that has the whole flooring of it is all paper replicas that I bought so I would show you all of them but I thought I'd just show you like one of my absolute favourite ones that I found and you can find these on eBay. All you have to do is type in Harry Potter replicas into the search bar and a tongue come up obviously get your bonds and your noble collection stuff but like some people do sell like a load of paper replicas and my favourite one is obviously going to be the this is which is a quibbler now it is empty inside but when you it easily unfolds and it looks exactly like the quibbler and I'm absolutely obsessed with it I just love it because I love Luna and I'm a Ravenclaw and I honestly think that if I was at Hogwarts I would obviously like read this 
um, because I would support Luna in any way possible that I could because I absolutely love her. She's my second favourite character ever in the series. Um, but what I love about this was is that it also came with a list of all the things that Luna lost that she was looking for at the end of Order of the Phoenix, the list she was putting up. I always wondered what was on that list because I never got, I never decided to look for it. I never thought the list existed. I thought it was just something she was pinning. But no, it actually comes with an actual list of all the stuff that she's lost and people have taken from her. And I thought that was a really, really cute little add-on. And I just love my paper replicas because they just make it feel like you are part of the wizarding world and it just you're just like, I have a copy of the Quibbler in my house. Um, but no, yeah, that comes in at number seven. At number six is like three items. I'm classing them all as a bundle because I've decided to start getting pillows for my couch. And I wanted to do like horror themed pillows, but they're all very expensive and not many places do them. And then you have to go and buy the insert and then it's a lot of faff. Um, so I decided I'm going to get some Harry Potter cushions. So I found the majority of these on um, Vinted and I found one on eBay for very cheap. So the first cushion I got is this one and it looks like the London to Hogwarts train ticket. It has it all in like gold writing here and it's basically what comes on a standard ticket and it's like outlined in all this nice purple colours and the back is like a deep plum purple. Um, I think what drew me to this is obviously it's a ticket to Hogwarts and anything that says Hogwarts is going to be like <sighs> Hogwarts. Um, but it's also the colours like gold and um, purple always go so nice together because they're considered like royal colours. So I really like this. Like none of these are going to match my couch because it's pink. But I do really like this because I love the tickets and I love the train and it's just, it's just, I just like having, I just love sitting there holding this being like, this is my ticket to Hogwarts. So that is pillow number one. Got this potions pillow. It's really, really cool. I saw this and I thought, oh my God, that's actually really nice. I wouldn't probably, if I'd seen this before, I probably wouldn't have gone for it because I'm not really like a potions person. I have like a potions shelf and stuff up here, but I'm, I normally wouldn't have been a potions person back then. But I do really like the design of it. It has the Armatentia, the Apologies Potion and the Veritas Serum and it just says Potion in the, in the little banner there. And it just kind of looks like um, it has text but you obviously can't read it because it's like scribbles but it looks like it's like the Half-Life Prince has scribbled down notes and stuff and it's really, really cool and it looks, it does look used but I think that's what's supposed to look like the ink has run on it and the back is just like a deep green grey kind of colour but I don't mind it because obviously you're not looking at the back, you're looking at the front. So yeah, that is the second pillow. The final pillow I got off eBay and I was really wanting this pillow. I've been searching for it everywhere. Everyone has been selling this pillow on eBay for like 29.99 to 39.99. And in, this was originally at a Primark and it probably would have been, judging by the size, but 10 to 12 pounds. And I thought that's ridiculous, but I managed to find this on eBay and I got it for seven pounds. Are you ready for this? I found a Honey Jukes pillow. I would have been wanting this pillow since I could, since it first came out and I my Primark is rubbish. We don't get this kind of stuff up in my Primark. Even the London Primark is obviously all sold out. Everyone loves like the Honey Jukes design because it's just so appealing and it just makes you feel so happy and excited. So on, so on the front, it's obviously got the Honey Jukes and it says Hogsmeade Legendary Wizarding Sweet Shop. And it's this nice blue with these red and it's stripy on the front. Uh, but on the back, it has loads of nice patterns on it. It's got the honey duke symbol, feather, a lightning bolt, a sweetie, and obviously the chocolate frog, which I do love. And just to go with this theme, I am very honey dukes today. So yeah, I absolutely love this pillow. And it's like a nice big statement pillow. Like as soon as you walk in and you look at my couch, this is the first one you notice. Never mind the other two, you see this one. And I'm so <laughs> in love with it. I am planning to get a couple more. Um, I want to get like a Hogwarts Express one, which will look really nice. And then maybe a Hedwig pillow, you know, cause it's Hedwig. So yeah, these come in at number six. Coming in at number five is um, a potions bottle that I absolutely love. I think I got this in Geek Gear, probably. You can find it on my channel somewhere. Although that's a lot of digging because I done a lot of those videos. But um, it is this Wolfsbane potion. And the reason I love this is because it wasn't like my first potion. I got one off Etsy. It was like a Paul Juice potion. But this was like the first potion bottle I ever got in a subscription box. And I was just surprised. And it, I just loved it as soon as I opened it. Like, because the way that it's sealed just looks so official. And it's like wax sealed. You can't open it. It's got liquid in it. So it looks full. And it's pretty cool. And the label just says Wolfsbane potion. The best potion to control your lycanthropy. And there's like little bits floating in the bottom. I think they're supposed to be like um, the flowers that's used, the flower that's used. And there's a flower they used in this potion. I can't remember what it is. But um, also again, with Lucan being my favourite character, it's always like a reminder of also my favourite um, werewolf in the entire series. Looks like you have it on handy being like, 
I need some more spaying potion. I've got you covered, don't worry. Yeah, so this comes in at number five. Number four is a wand. They have to appear sometime, don't they? It's Alvis Dumbledore's, but it's not the Elder Wand. I know what you guys are thinking. It's the Elder Wand. No, it isn't. And I love these ones because I got this at the studio and they come in these lovely boxes and then you get that little sense of... It's del like with these you can always sense that it's delicate, it's fragile, it's magic. And then it's safely impacted in here and this is what the wand looks like. And I absolutely love it. It's his one from the Crimes of Grindelwald. Obviously we know that in the first early posters and stuff of it, he had a different wand and then it got switched to this one. I think most people like it, most people like, it's very basic because you get to here and it's um, quite, it's just like a plain long wand. But then when you get up here, it's like the trunks have almost like wrapped around themselves because they're so old and delicate. So they've like kind of entangled themselves and then you have these, this lovely detail there as well. And then the gold band and that, and it, it's simple. But I just absolutely love it. And I think it's just because also I do like Jude Law's Dumbledore. I really think he's a good choice. But also this wand is the lightest wand I own, like literally. You, it's not heavy at all. And um, you can just go swish and flick. And it's beautiful. This comes in at number four. Coming in at number three is a book. Now it's probably not the books you're thinking of. It's not a Harry Potter book. It's not any of that. Um, and it's not like the official official replica. Like I know that there's ones going around that most um, Harry Potter YouTubers have it by Alarm18 on Instagram, I think his name is. I think his name's Jack. And he used to make these lovely replicas of the, of like the Defense Against the Dark Arts, which I would have really have liked to have gotten. And the potions book and the history of magic and um, Hogwarts of history he did as well. But sadly they were asking him, they asked him to please refrain from making props like that. Um, so Warner Brothers get your finger. I want you guys to start making official books so we can have some. But this one that I found of the potion making one, I found on eBay a while ago. Now I don't know if she's still doing them. But the reason I bought it was because the majority of the money that you pay for that book was going towards animals that were animal charities for animals that were in the wizarding world so like owls, rats, frogs, birds and like any animal that, you, that were in the wizarding world like the money was going towards charities to help those animals so I have my uh, version of the potion making book now again it's not like I don't think it's the official official one that they would have like Harry, Ron and that have but in the it does have like chapters and pages in it it does have that, so it's got like history, potions, recipes, it's got Draft Living Death, Paul Juice Potion, stuff like that. This is just basically a history of how potions and ingredients are. So like I'm not mad about it, but it's always nice to have for like Instagram and then you can take it to the tour and you're being like a potion student. Um, and it's just really nice to have because you're just like, I have my own copy of Advanced Potion Making. I do like how it's almost kind of looks leather bound and a little bit worn like it's been passed down, like I've been a Weasley and the George and... Fred and, and Percy go, here, have our version of it. It's not the exact copy, but it's the closest I will ever have. So yeah, this comes in at number three. And at number two is another book, um, but I don't know, I don't think you guys will be shocked at the fact that this comes in at number two. And it is the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Ravenclaw edition, because I absolutely love it, even though it was given to me by my ex-boyfriend. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's the hardback. It's got the proper house colours down the spine, so it's bronze and blue, not silver. Um, I just love it. I just love how it says the 20th Anne edition, and the front is just beautiful. And then I love it because on the inside as well, you see our queen, Rowena Ravenclaw, and you get um, you get like a little introduction of Ravenclaw, um, and you get a map of the castle. And it tells you a bit about how the Ravenclaws in the Prisoner of Azkaban help Harry. So that's quite cute. Um, yeah, and on the back it's got your little Ravenclaw emblem on the back there. And it says Wit, Learning and Wisdom. I don't know why I got put in Ravenclaw because I'm not smart. This comes in at number two just because I love it. Coming in at number one. Like this is my absolute favourite item in my whole collection. And I don't think anyone's going to be shocked at what it is. Um, it is another wand but it is the very first wand that I ever bought and I've had this for years now and I've always kept it nice and it's never gotten broken. Knock on wood. Yes, it is Professor Lupin's wand and and then you guys know by now he is my absolute favourite character in the whole series. I have a tattoo dedicated to him on my leg, permanently on my leg. So that's how much I love him. 
Um, everyone always says that his wand's very simple and I can, and yes, it is very simple. It's just a plain one and then you get up to here and it's like quite twisty and it's quite like a twisted bit at the top and then it's obviously just like a little bobble, which looks like a moon. So I think that's quite neat how it looks kind of like a, when you hold it and you don't see the rest of it, it kind of looks like a, a, a like a circle. So it kind of reminds you of the moon, moon, werewolf. It's, they're trying to give you a hint <laughs> before you even know. But his wand is so light as well. Like this, it, like Dumbledore's wand is lighter, but this is light and it's nice and it sits quite nice in your hand. Like the little um, indents in the um, top of it, they sit very nice in your hand. So yeah, I absolutely love his wand. It is obviously going to be my favourite because it's my favourite character. But I also think the simpler the wand, the more complicated the characters are, which I find, which I find very cool. Um, but yeah, this is my number one item. And if it broke, I would cry. And that's it for the video guys, that is my top 10 Harry Potter items that I own. Um, I wonder if any of them have changed, I might have to go back and look at my old video to have a little look. Let me know in the comments below what was your favourite item that I showed in this video, and if you collect yourself, what is your favourite item? Whether you be a Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin or Ravenclaw, let me know, I accept all houses on here, I don't judge. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did like this video again, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this from me, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys for another video. Bye.